What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are playing with tons of drugstore products today. I achieved this pretty simple, easy makeup look using all affordable products that are very accessible to you guys. I did have some products that were stand out for me and I just fell in love with and then I did have a few items that just kind of fell flat for me or I wasn't totally impressed with. My desk is literally covered in drugstore products so if you are interested in seeing me play with some new and old makeup, then let's get started. Alrighty, so starting with our base today, the primer that I'm getting, well, the primer I wanted to use was the e.l.f. Poreless Putty. I finally found it at my Walmart after searching for so many months, and now I can't find it anywhere. I'm pissed. I have no idea what I did with it. So instead, I'm going to be trying this Flower In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm not really much of a hydrating primer kind of gal, but... Doesn't really smell like anything. Um, and it just feels like you're putting like lotion on. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I'm not usually too keen on these, but I don't have anything else to try for the video because I cleaned my house and that's what happens. I can't find anything when I clean. So for foundation, I am going to be trying the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. And I have the shade Nude and then the shade Golden here. I'm hoping that I can kind of come up with a little concoction that will match me because clearly none of these are my shade. And I think I'm gonna be testing it out with a beauty sponge because that's how I normally apply foundation. I'm not really a brush kind of gal. So I'm just going to get like a little like palette thing here and I'm just going to mix. Let's see, how much should we do? We'll do like one, two of those and then one of those. So I'm just going to basically like paint this. It smells like vanilla, vanilla vodka. <laughs> it it has a very unique scent to it, I would say. Pretty full coverage though. It dries pretty quick, so I don't know if it was very wise for me to like paint this all over my face. I'm noticing that it's setting pretty fast, so I have to work pretty quickly here. Yeah, this dries so matte, so fast, wow. It's like not moving, I like can't blend that out anymore. So my advice would be to work on like one side of your face and then move on to the next. Don't do what I just did because once that dries down, that's like completely matte. It almost reminds me a little bit of the consistency of like the LA Girl, um, the Pro Matte, how it just like sets so quickly. Um, but it is definitely a very matte foundation. I like it. It's nice. I just need some more time to work with it. I like it, it looks really nice. It's pretty full coverage. It covered a lot of stuff here. I do still have some like sunspots and stuff peeking through here. And then on this side, I do have a little bit of scarring, um, but it's covering everything pretty well for the most part. Okay, moving on to concealer. I have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium sand. I know a lot of these products have been out for such a long time, but listen, I have a lot of makeup to try. I just, this was sitting in my stash for so long and I was like, dude, I gotta get these products tested. So I'm sorry, but I'm trying them now. So this is what it looks like. I mean, this is like a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, like the packaging, the huge Dofa applicator and everything. This is gonna be super, super light for me, but this was like the only shade I could find. So, ooh. That blends out so nicely. Okay, so this says camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles with this high coverage crease resistant 16 hour wear concealer. So that's what the back of the box says. This is blending out really, really nicely. I'm actually pretty surprised. I was going to get the concealer that goes with this foundation, um, but I just, I really, really wanted to try the e.l.f. one because obviously everybody says such good things about it. So, I mean, 
that blended out really, really nicely. And this foundation says that it's 24 hour wear. I would never wear my foundation for 24 hours, but we might have a new very long wearing combo here. All right, so next I found this Wet n Wild Translucent Powder, Loose Setting Powder, um, and yeah, this is in the shade Translucent. This came in a few shades. It also came in like a banana, um, but I decided to just go with good old Translucent. Shoot, how am I gonna get this up? And I, of course, will link everything down below and list prices so that way you guys can see how much this stuff costs. I tried to pick some like affordable options for you guys. I always get asked for like, more drugstore options and like less luxury or high-end. So this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty big. I think this was like $5 if I remember correctly and you get a ton of product. I have high hopes for this. It's not white. It's kind of like a beigey powder, which I like. I don't like super white translucent powder. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't like super bright white. I mean, I'm not like obsessed obsessed with this, but I it's a nice powder. If you're looking for something at the drugstore and you're kind of on a budget, I think this is a really nice option. It's really smoothing and it's pretty mattifying. I don't look dry. I don't, let me see if there's flashback. Mm, not really. No, not a ton of flashback. That's good. So for bronzer, I have two options here. I have this Radiance Brick from Rimmel in the shade 03 dark I haven't touched one of these since like middle school like truly it's been such a long time um so I thought I would give this a try again because it does have a little bit of shimmer but it's like that nice like warm I don't know I like bronzers with a little bit of a sheen to them so I thought this could be a good option and then I think I've tried Ride this before I really can't remember this is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette and this is in the shade dulce de leche I think that I've tried something like this before I can't remember though um, and this has a really nice banana shade in there as well if you want to brighten your under eyes I'm not going to because I'm pretty bright already I think I'm gonna start with the radiance brick and then I might use this to contour I can't tell oh god <laughs> it's a little splotchy I'm not gonna lie it doesn't come off like shimmery when you swatch it. I don't know, it's not as like glowy as I was hoping for. I like like the Physicians, like the Butter Bronzer, that sheen. And then I can't tell about this color. I don't, I don't really know about this one. So it's definitely very red. I don't know if you can see, I'm having some trouble blending it right here. I don't know if that's because of the foundation that I use because it's so matte, stuff is hard to blend into it. Um, yeah, I don't know about this. It's a little bit patchy for me. I'm gonna go in to this side right here. Oh God, did you see that fallout? That's crazy, okay, wow. And I'm just going to contour a little bit with this guy. That's going a little bit patchy too. I don't know, can you guys see like it looks a little bit I'm not loving. I think I'm having trouble blending stuff out because of this foundation. Because I think it was just like so matte and just didn't really allow like, I don't know how to explain it, like a lot of movement, I guess. So it's kind of just like stuck and it won't move. And I'm kind of having a hard time blending stuff in. Although that doesn't look terrible. And I think when I add, it just, I don't know, it just looks like a big brown like spot right there. Let me see, if I add blush, maybe it'll get a little bit better. So for blush, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush. These are like the peach ones. Um, and this is in the shade 192 Just Curious. This is really pretty. It's like a nice peachy tone with some gold reflex in it. Oh yeah. That's the perfect like no blush blush. You know what I mean? When you like wanna wear blush but you don't want anything too crazy. All right, so I've scooted in a little bit closer for the eyeshadow portion so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I have two palettes to test out for you guys today. So this is the new Tropical Days Butter Eyeshadow Palette from Physicians Formula. This looks so, so beautiful. I really am excited to try this guy out. And then I also have a Wet n Wild palette um and this is in the shade nude awakening um it just has some really pretty fall shades i thought this would be perfect and it has like 
a lot of transition shades. It has like a bone shade, shimmers, and then a few crease shades. So this is actually a really good like all-in-one palette too. Ooh, this smells identical to a butter bronzer and it also comes with, we're not using that. So I think first things first, oh, this looks so good. I think I wanna do like a nude mauve kind of look. So I'm gonna start with this like pinky color right here. Oh, there is a decent amount of fallout though. That doesn't bother me though. That just means they're like super buttery. And one thing that kind of annoys me about this palette is there is no mirror. It would have been kind of nice to include a mirror, but that's okay, we'll make do without. So like I said, I'm just gonna take this like pinky shade here. And I'm just going to start placing this in my crease. This is a pretty transition shade. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown here now too, just to deepen it up a little bit. This brown though, I must say, is a lot warmer than it looks in the pan. Um, I'm gonna take this color called three, I think, this like reddish color here. I don't know. And I'm just going to put that in the outer corner. That's pigmented. And a little bit up into the crease. Alrighty, so now going back into this butter palette, I'm going to use some of the shimmers from here. This color here, which is a really pretty like taupey shimmer color, but this one looks like a pressed glitter almost. So I really wanna test. It's pretty, it's not what I was expecting though. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> nothing came off. There's like nothing coming off on my brush. All right, let's try wetting. That's it, really? This is the shade I'm talking about here. This like beautiful, like foiled metallic-y shade. I'm like digging my brush into this. It's pretty, but I would say this is very chunky and it's not what it appears in the pan. It's actually pressed very hard. I don't know if you can see like how much I dug into it. It's not very buttery. It's not very soft and creamy. I don't know. It's just meh. Can you see like we're getting a little bit blotchy here too? Not obsessed, I guess you could say. So I do have a mascara to test out. This is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. It's a volume express mascara, and this is in the shade Black is Black. This is one that um, Makeup by Shayla like collabed with or like helped create or whatever it was. So this is what the tube looks like here. What does the brush look like? What? That's not what I pictured it looking like. It's... First of all, bent. What is this like squiggly situation going on here? I mean, it's volumizing for sure. It's not lengthening. Usually I go for a more lengthening because I have very short lashes. I mean, it's good though. I don't, I don't hate it. It like separates them, but still makes them look like thick. It doesn't give like that spidery separation. You know what I mean? For highlight, I'm going to be testing out this Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette from oh, uh, Flower Beauty. This is what it looks like. You get three highlight shades in here, and then you get this thing, which, again, I'm not going to use. These look pretty. Ooh, they're soft and buttery. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. So I'm thinking that I want to mix this champagne shade and this pink. There is a little bit of a fallout, but that's okay. <gasps> yes, are you joking? I think this might be the first product in addition to the concealer and that contour shade from Wet n Wild that I'm like, obsessed with I mean that's pretty good so what I'm gonna do because the highlight in my inner corner just isn't popping enough for me I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this highlight and put that in my inner corner that's what I needed all right if you want to buy one thing from today's video get this this is amazing so I'm just gonna go in with this NYX lip pencil in Nude Truffle. This is just like a standard nude. It's really, really good and it's drugstore so you guys can 
get your hands on it very easily. It's affordable, it's really creamy, it's great, I love it. And then our actual lip color today is gonna be this liquid matte lipstick from e.l.f. and this is in the shade 81168. Are we for real? Is that really what it's called? Um, it's just a really pretty like mauve pink color. Doesn't really smell like anything. And it has a pointed doe foot. It's a really thin, thin formula. This is really comfortable. I like this. So I have these three lip lingeries from NYX. I have clear, sable, and then butter. How the hell is this clear? That's pink. So I think I'm going to throw a little bit of sable on top. Just like this like nude brown color here. This smells like cupcake frosting. That's so pigmented. She is a pretty thick gloss though. Like the color is really, really pretty, but because it is so pigmented, it's really, really thick. And I already have it on my teeth. And it's just like a little bit sticky. Alrighty, you guys, so this is going to conclude my drugstore makeup first impression. For the most part, I think everything worked out like okay. I wasn't like obsessed with every single product. To me, the standout was really this highlight palette. I mean, look at that glow. Like I'm just so obsessed with this. I think if you take away anything from this video, this is amazing. The blush is really, really good. And I do really, really enjoy this concealer as well. The mascara was okay, bronzer was okay, powder was fine, eyeshadow palettes, they were okay. Um, for the most part, everything worked fine together. I just wasn't like blown away. In the end, I think I was able to make the foundation work, but I just didn't like how quickly it dried down. It just did not give me a lot of time to work with it. And I think some of my other products went on a little bit splotchy. But all in all, I think we were able to pull it out in the end and create a pretty makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to hit that bell notification next to the subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.